hello guys how is everyone doing i believe all of you are good i've really missed you guys a lot i've really missed you guys a lot how is everybody doing in case you're new here hey my name is jumba maslin i am a kenyan nigerian uh, youtuber you are uh, i'm also a mom so in case you want to follow this page kindly consider subscribing click that uh, subscription button and also we have that bell make sure you click that you put notification on so that anytime i post a video you will be able to view the video very fast and uh, for my returning subscribers thank you so much so today i wanted to talk with uh, people uh, we, we want to talk about hygiene let me talk with people about hygiene uh, most of the time like I spent almost eight years in Dubai, eight and close to nine years in Dubai working as hospitality, working in hospitality industry. I've worked with big hotel, five stars and all that. And so um, I prefer, let's talk about hygiene. Let's talk about hygiene. For example, when you go to hotels, you know, many people nowadays, they get sick and you don't know where did the sickness come from. You don't even realize where did the sickness come from. And, you know, you're, you see like, okay, you're always clean, but you just find yourself sick, but you don't know where the sickness come from. Number one, if you're the kind of person who likes visiting hotels, what I will advise you when you visit the hotels, always go with your bath towel always carry your bath towels when you're visiting any of the hotel whether it's a two star three star four star five star seven star always go with your bath towel i have worked with big hotels and i have seen how housekeeping staff is and we cannot blame the housekeeping staff because you know this staff they they give them the room and they don't have enough dusters they expect once you clean the room you need to dry the bathtub very well and you don't have enough duster so what do they do once they clean the bathtub they will just get that the dirty towel that the guests use the one that they use to wipe themselves when they finish they will use it too to dry the bathtub and this you know that towel they will go wash it again and another guest who is coming that guest will use that towel another person will go to wash the you see you know when you're washing the toilet they have washed the toilet finished because immediately after you finish the supervisor will come to check the room to make sure that the room is, is dry very well so you can't bl blame the staff so once they come and they go there to see the wc it's supposed to be very dry and they don't have a lot of dust so what do they know do they decide to improvise they will take that bath towel use it to clean the wc you know and when they wash it sometimes it will not wash very well <coughs> and you will visit the hotel you know they give you a towel you use it to wipe your body you start scratching your body start getting sickness that you don't even know where it came from so you really need to be very very mindful of any hotel where you go, always carry your towel. Even if it's not a, like a real towel, you can buy like a, something like a shawl. So long as it's cotton, it's good. You can use it to be wiping yourself. But don't use the hotel bath towel to wipe your body. This one I'm talking out of experience. I've not seen it only in one hotel. I've seen it in almost all more than 10 hotels that I've worked for. Most hotels. And even sometimes when I visit hotel and someone is cleaning my room, I will be checking, you know, secretly checking and I will see they're using bath towels. I don't use bath towels when I visit any of the hotel. Number two that you need to be very, very careful is it's the, um, the glasses. You know, when you with the glasses or the cup, you know, any hotel when you visit, they always have the glasses or the cup that you can use to drink either to make coffee because they always give the coffee machine, coffee and tea amenities in the hotel. So that glass, when you go to the hotel, you will see that glass is really, really sparkling. The glass will be sparkling very well. If you look like this, you will see from the other end. It looks clean, but it's not clean. It's not clean. Those people that are cleaning the room, they don't have the the dust that took to wipe the glasses. They don't have. They are using towel to wipe the glasses. The towel that someone came from the bathroom, they finish shower and then they come to the they will they'll go take that towel once they have washed the glass because they need to dry it so for them to dry it they will use the towel some of them use the towel or they will use the 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 uh 
the pillow cover to wipe because the pillow cover makes it wipe very well so don't use the glass even if it looks clean use the glass but before using it make sure you rewash it by yourself wash it again by yourself don't just use it even if you see it sparkling don't use it before washing it wash it very well any of the utensils in that house in that hotel room make sure you rewash them first before using it just to make sure you don't get sick to make sure you're in a good uh, condition to make sure you're you you know you are in good health because otherwise you're going to get sick because that's how many people they get sickness from hotels and they don't even know where they're going number three when they're cleaning your room always make sure you know some people they always leave uh, the room so the cleaner will just go to the room maybe you're still staying the cleaner will just clean when you're not in the room let's say for example you're staying in the hotel for like four days so you need someone to come and clean your room at least between the days to change the beddings when they are doing the cleaning always be there in case you are going outside and you are not in the room, always put a do not disturb card so that nobody will open your room. Because if you don't put that do not disturb card on the door, they will open your room and they will clean. When you come back, you will see the bed is very straight. The bed is really, really, and they, they have made the bed very well and it looks so good. What the staff always do, they are using chemical. We have a, a R3. R3 is glass cleaner that they are always using to clean the windows the glasses it makes it shining very fast so when you spray r3 to the bed it's called r3 when you spray you spray r3 to the bed and then you stretch it the bed sheet it will go you will think they have changed it it will go very clean and mind you that is a chemical it is chemical don't you know and you're going to sleep there it's not safe in case you're not in the room, make sure, make sure you put a note. Tell them you need new beddings or just don't clean it. Tell them you will clean, they will clean when you're in the room. Ask them for cleaning when you're there and make sure when they're changing the bed sheet, you are there. Let it be new one. Otherwise, you go and you leave someone to clean your room. They will use R3 to spray on the bed. When you come back, you will feel, oh, these people, they start, they clean the room very well. It's really nice. You go to sleep and it's chemical. You're sleeping on top of chemicals. That's why people, you will get skin disease. You don't even know where it's coming from. Just be mindful of what you do to the room. Be very, very mindful whenever you visit any of the hotels because if you are not careful, trust me, you're going to get sick. Many people get diseases from hotels, but they don't know what's happening. Anyways, my name, uh, that's all I have for today. In, I will be coming more with a lot of updates because I have a lot to be telling you. My name is Jumba Maslin. I am a hotelier. Anyways, normally I am a tourist tour guide, tour guide by profession, but some, I've worked most of the time with hospitality industry. Anyways, in case you have any questions, leave a comment below. If you've not subscribed to this channel, kindly consider subscribing. Now, Penta Sana and God bless you all. Okay. Ciao, ciao. And Take care.